this is a, a video of um, uh, a, a project that I'm uh, finishing off. Um, I have to do some turning between senders and so I um, uh, decided that I needed something that uh, would work uh, 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 time after time uh, without any more uh, effort being put into it and what it is is a um, uh, I use one of the take blank collets and um, uh, you'll see at the back here I have a a drawbar uh, this here is uh, a mold steel uh, knob and uh, I uh, knurled it with the knurling tool that I built uh, that came out very well and what I'm doing now is um, I've um, I've added something to the collet a, a, a piece of stainless steel uh, to the collet and I'll show you I'll break it down after after I finish this project here um, after I finish machining um, I'm, I'm just going to show you um, how the um, the top slide uh, the the project that I I modified um, uh, it was um, uh, the same design as the hard inch uh, top slide on the HLV lathes and what it is is a cam that uh, is actuated by this screw here an eccentric screw and you can see the, the key going in and you just uh, you slide it in the T-slot and you move the key or maybe uh, from 12 o'clock to 10 uh, to uh, 2 o'clock and um, the uh, the top slide is locked solidly to the cross slide. Uh, it's a much better, uh, much better system than the the actual tape uh, system. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm uh, going to do some machining. I'm going to machine the 60 degree uh, uh, angle uh, to make my center for the headstock. And so um, I'll just uh, demonstrate how the uh, the top slide uh, with the adjustable uh, it's not actually a quick change but it's a an adjustable uh, tool holder which is uh, attached to the front end of the top slide and you can put any size uh, um, tool bit in there uh, from a 316 up to uh, uh, 516 um, and it's adjustable for tool height so you don't have to clamp anything on the top here with a uh, uh, a clamp uh, and a tool bit so um, uh, that's the system I'll show you now uh, how it machines and um, it it goes very well actually so I'll just switch the machine on and I've got the machine running at um, oh, a thousand RPM and uh, of course I'm not taking great big cuts uh, but um, let's see I'll take uh, I'll take a tenth hour cut as you can see it cuts very nice now this is this is a tough uh, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it's a 316 it's definitely a 304 stainless steel so I'll take 20 thou um, so there is actually nothing wrong with that um, it's, uh, it's solid um, it cuts nice of course it does help if the tool bit is nice and sharp and cut and uh, and ground uh, properly when I'm normally cutting stainless steel I usually keep the RPMs uh, somewhere around 700 RPM 
to a thousand. I never, I never, I never go. In in fact, when I'm anything I'm machining, I very seldom go over 1500 RPM at any time. So you can see it's going very well. So it won't take very long before that that is down to a nice 60 degree center. Taking about 20 30 thou. Uh, I just I just move the handle. I don't actually most of the time I don't look at the at the uh, index. I just turn the handle and put another cut on. But we'll see. Uh, let's see. That's 15. This is a 25 thou cut. I could probably take another, a bigger cut, but I don't believe in stressing a machine. Uh, I don't quite see the point. If I was in production, then maybe it would be a different matter, but um, I tend to mother my machines, uh, treat them with a little bit of respect, and I find that uh, you still get the job done. Okay, 10, 20, 30. Here's a 40 thou cut. That's a bit, a bit too much, but I've, I've got a loose belt. I don't know if you can see it. It's very, the belt is very loose. So, that's another thing. I, I tend not to have my belt uh, too tight. Um, sometimes uh, I'd, I'd sooner see a belt slip than uh, have gears uh, shear. That's why I prefer any machine that I have, I prefer the belt system rather than gears. I find that gears are, are noisy normally and uh, it's getting to a larger diameter now so but as you can see that um, it's not brass it's not plastic it's a stainless steel it's definitely stainless steel um, I'll just show you just in case somebody thinks that I'm trying to fool them oh no I'm wrong I'm wrong it's a uh, oh no 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 it's stainless steel. As soon as I get there, it goes. Or there, see? Nothing there. So it's stainless. Um, and it's definitely a tough stainless. It's not, the, it's not a 303. Well, we'll go back to a 20 thou. Yeah, let's soon get down there. Pan it round and show you the belt. If I, I think you'll be able to see it. Uh, probably not. If, anyway, the belt is, the belt is very loose, very loose. Um,
nice chip coming off. Should be nicer if there was a chip breaker on there, but um, as long as you're careful. Uh, when I get when I get uh, material coming off like that, I sometimes just stop and let it break and then carry on. So I had this uh, this tip, uh, this uh, center tip that I'm making. I have it screwed on. Uh, what I did was I used a blank uh, tape collet and I drilled and threaded uh, 1030, uh, 1024, and um, right the way through. And um, and then uh, this this blank that I've got screwed on.